Hello and welcome. Let's model this Hexaspy cup. I saw this design at 3D World. I'll start the design with a sketch on the top plane. That's a circle with a diameter of 88. Then a construction line here. Continue with another one here. Give that four millimeters. Then one more construction now. Construction line from the origin here. Mirror that over that line and give that an angle 18 degrees and that's it for that first sketch and define a plane by a curve point that one with that line all right on that plane I will um, draw a hexagon connected here. Six sides, no? And with um, Shift L, no, Shift M, I take that um, endpoint and that line and constrain that. Okay. Um, I will hide that plane. I will go back to sketch one and with M, I will cut away that circle. Then I'll go into the extrude of surfaces. Take that edge, go into symmetric, offset, that's fine, and split that face with sketch number two. Then I will delete those two faces here and make that sketch one visible again. So we got that um, peak. And now with the bridging curve command, I will pick that vertex and that peak. First one, and we'll continue with that um, curve command with that vertex and again that peak. And just do that once more here. Okay. And I can hide that sketch one. And now I'll take the fill command. Take that edge, that one, that one, and that one. And I'll leave it at that new surface position to make the things more visible, different colors. And I'll continue with the next one here, this one, that one, here, again, new surface. And well, let's just do that one third time here. All right, so we got these four surfaces. Now let's make a Boolean operation, a union of those four surfaces. And that transforms those into one piece here. I'll rename that axon. And um, go into the face blend. Take that top face, take 
that side face and do that once more with those two. And that gives me a nice fillet. I'll hide those curves. And I'll just change the appearance of our body here to some light gray. Next, I'll make that sketch one visible again and define one mate connector here. And use that mate connector for circular pattern. 18 times. Or hexa. Right. Now I will make out of all of these one composite part. That makes it easier to for my selection. And then I'll go into transform. Take that um, composite part. Translate by X, Y, Z and well, copy that part and go up 13 millimeters. I get my second composite part. And again, with the transform, I'll take the rotate option. Um, Take my mate connector and transform by 10 degrees. Got that? All right, so we got these two. And now I will make a linear pattern of those two. And for direction, I can use one more time, my mate connector, make a distance of 26 and a count of four. All right, I'll continue with the body of my cup uh, with a sketch on the top plane and it's a full circle connecting to that end point. I'll hide that sketch one. Exit that sketch, go into the extrude, a solid extrude of my sketch three with a starting offset of um, 16 and uh, um, distance of 122. Um, accept that. Okay, then went um, wrong direction. I revert that and accept that. Then I'll continue with the fillet um of that bottom edge with four millimeters then shell with a um thickness of four go into full round fillet take that face that one and that one and um, with K, I I hide that mate connector. And now finally, I'll make a Boolean operation of everything we get. This takes a moment, a lot of calculation. There's an error message, but that should disappear. And there it is. There is our 
Access Bike Cup. Well, I hope you like that and I see you in the next video.